Hey, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. It helps the channel and makes me feel better about myself. So today we're talking about the Clips RP400M. This little guy. Right here. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about clip, the Clips RP400M. This fun little four inch. Ooh, that's hot coffee. Hot coffee. All right, Clips RP 400M from the reference Premier line. Currently $275. Is it worth it? Well, let's find out. Because we're the cheap audio man. Where you come for the speaker reviews and you stay for the idiocy. Alright, let's talk about some specs. It has a one inch one inch Tatrix horn <laughs> with titanium diaphragm. I'm laughing because I didn't write all of titanium. Because right in shorthand. It's got a four inch cerametallic cone woofer. Sounds good. Rated at 52 hertz, up to 25,000 hertz. It's pretty good for a little four inch. All right, let's talk about soundstage. Um, it's good. It's, um, let's talk about how big these guys are. So I can grab, pick it up with one hand, all right? I'm so heavy. Oh, if I drop this, I'm gonna really upset at myself. <sighs> this is this big, big brother. The Clips RP 600M. It's quite a bit bigger. Alright, I put a diaper on the floor. I put a diaper on the floor so I wouldn't scratch it. A lot of uses for diapers in a pinch. Okay, um, what are we talking about? Soundstage. They do a good job. Um, I think where they stand out is depth of soundstage. Uh, Something in the Way by Nirvana. Uh, at the beginning of that uh, off the MTV unplugged record at the beginning of that song um, there's a cough in the uh, audience and it comes from the left speaker just inside the left speaker and behind or oftentimes on speakers it just comes in like just inside the left speaker this one it came inside the left speaker and way back there's another one in here that I missed anyway it was the um, why did I miss that all right, well, wherever I'm in my room, by Metallica, I use that one a lot uh, because at the beginning of the song, there's some little drums, and it should come from the right of the speaker. This one came from the right wall, okay? So these soundstage as good as probably any speaker I have heard laterally, and really vertically, too. That's because of the horn. The horn does a very good job. Also, this horn is not plastic. It's like a rubbery material. Kind of like the sole of a shoe, but softer. All right, imaging, very good. Um, placement on these is going to be key to imaging. And as you can see, on the back, they have a keyhole hanger. They've got their rear port right here, which is um, proprietary. And generally, I kind of like, like make fun of that. But in Clips's case, Clips's case, they do a really good job. But whatever they're doing back here, their science... Or computational fluid dynamics whatever software they're using whatever brain trust they have over there at clips over in hope arkansas they're doing a really good job really good job oh and it's got a little <clears throat> threaded insert down here that you can thread something into imagine stick it to a wall Okay, good vertical 
image or uh, sound stage. Good horizontal, good depth. I know I wrote something down because I heard something. It was very nice. Yeah, whatever. We're unprepared here. It, it doesn't make sense that I'm going to actually do things how I want them, want them to go. So we're just going to have to roll with it. All right, imaging good, uh, something in the way, Naranikov. All right, drive in, drive out, Dave Matthews Band. At the beginning of that song, there should be a guitar. should sound like it's behind the wall, or at least behind the speakers, down and in the middle. Does that just fine. All right. Let's talk about bass. It's really hot. You, I'm going to leave the lid off for a second. That's what I like to do. Because I like to get these nice little insulated mugs. I like to leave the lid on until it reaches the exact right temperature. And then I like to put the lid on and it holds that temperature. Otherwise, it's too hot. Because I like to drink coffee fairly quickly. I'm sure you're very interested in that. Uh, bass. Surprisingly, absolutely incredible. On a 4-inch. Okay. I did a review of the R51M. And that bass response was spec'd at a similar level. Down to 52. But if you watched any of my other videos, you know that specs, even though it's spec'd down to 52, doesn't always mean it's going to sound good and sound full. Um, this speaker sounded nice and full and well balanced at low levels, at low volumes, and at higher volumes. And I was kind of blown away. When the box showed up, I was like, nope. I had preconceived ideas about this speaker. And contempt prior to investigation isn't good for anybody. But I didn't have high hopes for this thing. Um, because I wasn't, while the R51M can get uh, balanced bass depending upon where you place it, how, you, how close to the wall and stuff like that. I don't like to have to like convince a speaker to be good by moving it all over the place. And my initial testing, usually I just put them on my stands and I about 15, 16 inches from the wall. And then I listen to them in the near field about three feet away. Um, and generally that gives me a good idea of what the speaker sounds like without any, you know, reflections and stuff like that. And I know that's probably not far enough, but whatever. That's how I do it. It seems to be working well so far. Anyway, the bass was there. It was nice and full and balanced. And balanced. I didn't have to convince it to do anything different. Actually, when you get this thing closer to the wall... And I would say if you hang it against the wall, because if you hang it against the wall, the port is actually going to be right on the wall. If you hang it on the wall, I, I would recommend actually maybe um, sealing up the port. Maybe shove an old dirty sock in there. That port's nice. I just stuck my finger in it, and it's got a nice plastic. So it's got the flange, the fancy flange, and then it's got a really nice plastic. It goes, it goes in there. There may be some... Uh, transmission line sorcery going on in here to get it to sound so good anyway bass is very good when you put it up against the wall though i wouldn't say it's boomy but it starts to affect the different frequencies i.e mid-range well mostly mid-range and even the top end it becomes a little bit warm and that's kind of hard to believe on eclipse isn't it yeah so be careful where you put them okay base surprisingly awesome thick you don't have to uh, you don't have to put them against the wall and make them sound good all right let's see how we're doing on temperature perfect then we do that <clears throat> and then we're set for about an, however long it takes us to drink the coffee I don't know why I put it over there, because now we're going to talk about mid-range. Uh, mid-range on all of the RP line is excellent, if not 
absolutely people say class leading I don't know what that means it's just good okay it's just good um, male vocals very nice Chris Cornell off of uh, his cover of Patience by Guns N' Roses um, his voice was clean clear nuanced when he went up into the higher frequencies it was just extraordinarily pleasant okay Adele uh, hello she was very clear um, and you could still hear the detail and the the just a little bit of it's called vibrato vibrato in her voice even at those lower levels until that song really comes in I did hear some weirdness though from Nora Jones and um, come away with me I think that's what it was where's that Nora Jones come away with me but okay so first let's back up on that song so percussionists um, sometimes will have a brush and it's a little wire brush it comes out kind of looks like a whisk but it's flat and they'll do a little circle on the snare and it just kind of gives this ambient and I could hear it and I could see it on these speakers one because I used to play the drums and every once in a while I had to do that in jazz band um, but I could hear it very well however when her voice came in she's recorded pretty forward on a lot of her tracks and even at lower volumes she sat, sounded a bit shouty now I'm not blaming these speakers because I've heard that on other speakers too I'm blaming the recording but bear in mind that if it's a super forward song you're gonna hear it which I think these are these do a really good job of just giving you how it was recorded if it was recorded badly you might hear some weirdness if it was recorded well it's gonna sound great Whereas, like the Polk S20 that I listened to yesterday, it's not nearly as detailed and crystalline looking into the music, but m most tracks are going to sound great on that speaker, regardless of how well it was recorded. So, for what that's worth. Um, and then, I Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. Again, shouty. And, and I don't know why. Let's talk about treble. Clean, balanced, totally accurate. Another Way to Die uh, by Jack White. Yesterday I said Jack Black. And in all accounts, Jack Black's a fine musician. Uh, but Jack Black did not sing on Another Way to Die, which is a 007 song on the soundtrack. Anyway, Jack is with Alicia Keys. It's a fine song. It's a beautiful song. It's on my test track. If you actually want to listen to my test track playlist, you can sign up for a free trial of Amazon Music HD. There will be a link in the description. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, hit Try HD, because you don't want to try the regular. I don't even know if it matters. There's actually a test. I might link that too. There's a test that was put out by um, Public Radio. PB not PBS that's a, that's a child station NPR NPR there's a little article written and it gives you different tracks at different resolutions and it's very interesting to go in there and try to pick out the which which one is high res and I was right about 50 percent of the time anyway it's high res and if you're a prime member it's actually like it's when you have to actually start paying for it, it's like $13 a month, which is only $3 more than Spotify or Apple Music. So I figured, what the heck, I'll spend an extra $3 a month because I literally use it every day. In the car, in the office, anyway, whatever. Trouble, clean, balanced, totally accurate. Another way to die, there's a, there's a piano. Ding! Actually, it'd be on the right-hand side. Ding! Your left. Like if I was playing the piano in front of you, right up here. Ding! Ding. Ding. Very accurate, very nice. Um, sounded like the piano was in the room. Yeah. Female vocals, Alanis Morissette. I'm going back to the mid range. Alanis Morissette, King of Pain, off the um, MTV Unplugged record, which I highly recommend all those records. And if you have Amazon Music, you can listen to all of them. 
You can binge listen. Don't binge watch anything. Binge listen and fill your soul with happiness. Anyway, um, her voice is very nice. And you could really pick up on the inhale and the just the subtle nature of all the goodness that's in her voice. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So what are my final thoughts on these little tiny clips speakers? These surprised the heck out of me. Um, as I said before, they're cool looking too. They got a really cool finish. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to rotate it just in case there's some glaring of the light. They've got a very nice finish. And I'd hope so for 250 bucks. Can you hear that? That's probably annoying. All right. So, cool finish. I'd say it's kind of like a, a black um, fake wood. Mm, love fake wood. Um, but it's almost like a black and gray. It's got a very nice grain, fake grain uh, design. Okay. For me, seven inches from the wall was where these things really shined. Anything closer and I felt like it started to lose its magic and mid-range and treble clarity. Um, it's quite balanced at seven inches and further away from the wall. Um, and... It's small. I had no problem filling up my office with music. And I would say if you can put a high pass filter on these with an AVR, um, you're going to be able to play these in probably even a medium sized room up to. I got, without a sub, I got almost to 85 dB at like seven feet away. And that's good. That plays with like the five inch kefs and the. Q acoustics and stuff. I would argue that this four inch is a better, I'm not going to argue, I'm going to say it. The RP400M is a better speaker than the R51M. Better. Better bass, more clear, cleaner mid range, more controlled and accurate highs, and better. I don't even think the R51, R51 can play just a bit louder. Just a bit. But this is 250 and that one goes on sale for 150 This one's on sale for 250 which leads me into another. I love this speaker. However, this speaker sometimes is hard to recommend simply because of its price. And I don't understand that. Because the Klipsch RP600M is actually priced very competitively. In the market the 500m and the 400m i don't feel like they're priced as well and i don't get that and this thing is supposed to be 400 dollars retail no mm -mm. no i say if you only listen in the near field and you can even get up a little like get them much wider than you much wider than you are away from the speaker and kind of lean into them and you're going to get a pretty incredible three-dimensional experience with these speakers if you can swing the price they are absolutely brilliant at a turn 75 dollars it's it's a tough recommend because you can get the Kef Q150, which is going to play louder. It's not going to have as much mid-range clarity or top-end clarity. But you could also get the Emotiva um, Air Motive B1 Plus. And you'll get, you'll get clarity, but I think that speaker is almost too trebly. This one is just very well balanced. Nice. It's deep when it needs to be deep. And it's clear. And it doesn't color the music at all. It represents the music very well. And seven feet away, I was still having a good time with these speakers. 
It's a very good speaker if you can get over the price. Even, even when it's on sale, if you can get over that price. It's a head scratcher for me. The RP400M is just priced so competitively. And I don't know why these aren't. I don't know why. Just, just like Nora Jones. I don't know why. So, if you like me, you don't even have to like me. If you like the information that I give out and you like my attitude towards affordable hi-fi equipment, then please subscribe. It will absolutely help me out. We are building a pretty, a good following, pretty good following. And I want to build this thing so people actually send me stuff and I don't have to buy it and then return things and I feel bad when I return things but I can't keep all these speakers which leads me into another thing um, I do have a patreon account so two ways you can support the channel number one you can buy things through my link I'll get a commission off of that you don't pay any extra okay so you'd pay the same whether you went through my links or not or you can sign up for the patreon and I have different tiers but I I, I tried to make a dollar tier so it may be up there give a dollar uh, or give three dollars if you can and I'm gonna open that up to if you're a patreon um, contributor donator then the speakers that I have um, that I haven't returned or gotten on closeout or whatever um, if you if you're interested in purchasing those you know we can work out a deal and that deal is probably going to be about 50% of what I paid for it plus half of shipping which generally is about uh, shipping generally is about forty dollars in total so maybe twenty dollars so fifty percent of the cost plus twenty all right Does that makes sense I hope so anyway I really appreciate everybody watching this I hope you liked uh, my take on the RP 400m it's great it's very good uh, it does things that um, I think other speakers don't just like the uh, RP 600m it's a it's a more difficult um, speaker to recommend because it's priced at 280 280 you can get the Polk S20s and blow the doors off. It's not going to be as clean and accurate and as nuanced, but you can blow the doors off the hinges with that. It's about what you want. Near field, I, I don't think you can find a much better speaker than this if you're just going to listen in the near field. Even a smaller, medium-sized room. So, with that, I am Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Come on in and subscribe and have some fun and watch my other, other videos.